Lavender Hill Loft. Punnett squares are a tool that geneticists use to predict the possible gene combinations of livestock, poultry, um, plants, um, you name it, this is, this is how they do it. And I want to show you how to set one up and how to explore the um, genetic variations that you may have questions about. What it is, it's a simple square, like such. You're going to cut it into four parts, and I'll show you why. And let's say we want to know if a blue check cock paired to a blue bar hen, what the possible combinations are. So right up the very top here is where you put the male line or the dominant trait. Now let's say our um, blue check cock is dominant. We don't know this for sure, but we're going to make an assumption. So I'm going to use big B's um, to represent the cock. Blue check. And on this side, we're going to use um, for the hen, and we believe her to be recessive. Now we don't know this, but we're theorizing it. And she is a blue bar. So, what you do is you take the very top, you take the dominant gene, you bring it down, you do that again, bring it down, follow this again, bring it down, bring it down. Now we take the hen side and add it all the way across. Now what we have here is, is instead of having a purebred blue check cock and a purebred blue bar hen, we now have four, four blue check pigeons. Every one of these birds is split for a blue bar, although they will look blue check. Now let's take a pair. Let's do another square. Okay. And let's say we take one of these birds and we are going to put this particular bird up. So big B, little b. And we're going to pair this to a known blue bar. So again, we bring down the big B. Now we're bringing down the little b. We bring over these. Now what we have here is, is we have a split blue check, we have a pure blue bar, split blue check and pure blue bar. So we get two blue checks split for blue bar and we get two pure blue bars. So is it possible to get blue bars out of a blue check cock and a blue bar hen? The only way it is is if the cock is split for blue bar and the hen is pure for blue bar. And that is how you set up a simple Punnett square and you can do this with a variety of genetic issues and come up with a probability. Now I'd caution you that you could pair this pair together and breed 12 babies and they may all come out blue check. Geneticists would tell you that in order to get the true probability you have to breed a lot and a lot of progeny in order to figure out 
but one of the nice things about pigeon racing is, is we're going to know after six to, to eight nests exactly what we're going to get. Lavender Hill Loft, Washington, D.C.